I wasn't a huge fan of SUVs up until the time I bought my Porsche Macan, which I've owned for just about a year now. And with my Macan, I've gained a new appreciation for SUVs and not just with the Macan. With SUVs like this 2021 Mercedes GLE 53 AMG, these kinds of vehicles are such a winning combination. You have the practicality of an SUV and you have high horsepower engines that make these things fun to drive. Think of these like sports sedans that could also be great daily drivers and haul around your family and kids. I especially like this GLE 53 with this coupe fastback design. I love the fact that it slopes down back here and just gives it a sportier look. The front end on this GLE has this curved grille that's really bold and aggressive. And you have this huge Mercedes logo right in the center. This GLE 53 is typically something you'd cross shop with the BMW X6 or an Audi Q8. But the AMGs are special because, you know, it's an AMG. I'll start this one up to demonstrate to you some of its AMG goodness. What you heard there was a 3 liter 6 cylinder turbocharged engine. For the real rowdy version, get the G63 V8 with over 600 horsepower. This one's not bad though, 429 horsepower with a little bit of electrical power supplemented via Mercedes EQ Boost. Nice looking 21 inch wheels with AMG brake calipers from Mercedes. The inside of this GLE 53 is super nice, exactly what you would expect out of a Mercedes AMG. It's got a ton of interior technology, starting with this big screen. This is a high resolution display that spans all the way to the middle of the car. I like that it's all joined up together. It's one continuous display. Your gauges are all digital and then you have all of your apps in your infotainment to the right. Everything on this menu you use through the touchpad on here with haptic feedback. It's pretty easy, pretty intuitive. Lots of different options to play with and a lot of things to get into. The best aspect here is the comfort options with your seat settings. The amount of massaging options you have on these seats are incredible. You could spend an entire day on these massage options just trying to figure out what they all do and fine tuning it to your exact specifications. There's a play button here, which I don't even know what it does. I think it probably moves the massage up and down the seats. These seats look like pretty standard seats, but then when you look at all these massaging options, the engineering that went into this must have been insane. To put this many seat massage options in here must mean that Mercedes has a seat massage department probably filled with thousands of people. And if standard massage isn't enough for you, set it to high. Then you have a whole seat comfort section with seat kinetics, lumbar, side bolster, seat heating balance. Mercedes must offer a course on just their seats and how to configure them properly. I'm not complaining by the way. I love tech gadgets and this is about as gadgety as it gets. Once you're done setting up your seats, then you can play with the color of the lighting inside your car. You have the option of multicolor animation, which probably just scrolls through all these colors. That must look pretty cool at night. These are some pretty interesting color choices, I have to say. Besides all the cool stuff that you can play with, you actually do have some real driver assistant technology in this car too. You have all of your cameras and parking sensors, traffic sign assist, lane keeping, brake assist, attention, blind spot, all of the basics. I like this visual of the car as you switch through different menus and how the thing spins around. I like on the tow protection, the hazards come on. I think when it comes to tech, the Mercedes handily beats out its competition like the Audi or BMW. You have so many drive modes, sport, comfort, individual, slippery, trail. The nice thing is when you get into Sport Plus, the drive mode changes, but then the ride setting, you can still change it to be comfortable at the same time, which is what you'd want. You have the option of raising or lowering your GLE as well. The bottom line is you almost have too many options and choices in this car. I don't even know how you'd pick the right setting. I think you'd be fumbling around with this trying to figure out exactly how to make it perfect. If you're in the back though, you're out of luck. All of the good stuff and the fun things to play with are for the driver and the front passenger only. You have a good amount of room back here to take this to Home Depot or Lowe's on the weekends. And then you have this nice cover to cover it all up.
There's a cover here to cover up the cup holders if you get tired of seeing them. The center console has a button to open it up. Another spot for storage. This Mercedes GLE 53 is currently in stock at Covert Cadillac used cars. By the time you watch this video, it still might be up for sale, so check it out if you're in the market. And thanks to these guys for letting me spend some time with this one. I like the interior of this Mercedes a lot. It's high quality, nice place to be, lots of interior tech. Now it's time to take it for a drive. When you first get in, it's a little bit hard to figure out how to put it in drive until you notice that there's a stock. Pull it down and you're all set. Because the Mercedes is geared a little more towards comfort than its competitor like the BMW, the handling is not quite at the same level. The handling in this in comfort setting is a little too loose for my liking. So the first thing you should do is push it into Sport Plus. Because this GLE is geared more towards comfort and luxury, you can put it into Sport Plus and things will still feel fine. The handling gets better, the shifts are a lot more aggressive, and you have the option to make your ride a separate setting than how the transmission shifts and the throttle response. So with the comfort ride setting and a Sport Plus driving experience, it's just the right mix. And with Sport Plus, the handling does get more predictable, a little tighter, so it feels better to drive in this mode. The shifts in the transmission become a lot harder with Sport Plus. In comfort mode though, everything's hidden from you, so you don't even realize that you're driving an AMG. The engine has a nice grunt to it. It's not the G63 with the V8, but it's still got some crackles and pops, so it has those trademark AMG characteristics in this thing. Handling-wise, the BMW X6 would be better. However, from a premium high-end feel standpoint, I think this one's better. The heads-up display is nice. You can use the paddle shifters if you're really feeling aggressive and sporty. When you get on it, a nice noise fills the cabin in typical AMG style. It's an AMG, so you gotta be able to have some fun with this car. This Mercedes GLE 53 AMG is pretty impressive. With all of the tech that it has, I think it takes it up a couple notches, especially compared to the BMW X6 or the Audi Q8. When it comes to high performance luxury SUVs, the GLE definitely is one of the best. 